Picking the right stocks for spread betting. I mean, I just say every stock is the right stock for spread betting. Why spend your money on uh, on commission charges to your broker and stamp duty, and then if you make a profit, giving some of it to George Osborne? You might as well have done the spread bet. You have uh, the the uh, the spread on on equities is pitifully small. It's like 0.1 of a percent for FTSE 100, 0.2 maybe for for FTSE 250, and you're going, you know, stamp duty is half a percent, so you're already down, then you've also got the broken commission that you have to pay. And um, so, and if you did happen to make a profit, it's all tax free. So, you know, why anybody would actually buy shares for trading purposes, um, buy the real stock, as opposed to doing a spread better or CFD, I have no idea. It's just a waste of money as far as I can see. But the, the the real problem is is that is that people tend to gear themselves up when they use when they spread bet stocks. So whereas they they're buying shares, they buy a thousand shares. When they do spread betting, they they start gearing themselves up, which gets dangerous. So rolling daily contracts versus future contracts, which is best and under which circumstances? Um, rolling daily is definitely best if you're trading, if you're holding the position less than a couple of weeks or three weeks, something like that. You, you, you can do the, you can do the mathematics. It's not, it's not, it's not rocket science. Um, the, uh, what you have to look at, what you have to look at in, in the market is the spread that's quoted and then calculate with the interest rates for whatever period's going. So in, uh, if the rolling price is one pip and the future price is three pips, at what point the, do the charges for your one pip make up for the three points plus the decay in the futures price? So in reality, we always used to work it out as being around the two to three weeks, but it might have changed now. Um, but in, as most people trade, um, as most people trade one day within a day, five minutes is the average, 10 minutes, uh, the rolling is definitely the best to do, definitely. But if you want to hold the position for a very long time, then it's the futures. Always stick with the futures.